from huge armored dinosaurs to the earliest known humans. Here are 14 incredible fossil finds of the 21st century. Number 14, Shringosaurus. Known as the horned lizard of India, fossils of this animal were located in the central region of the country. It belonged to a group of herbivorous reptiles that existed during the Triassic. Their barrel-shaped bodies would have measured more than 13 feet long, 4 meters, and they lumbered about on four stout legs. Along with a long neck extending from a humped shoulder, they also had a long tail. That makes for an odd enough mashup. But their most unusual physical feature was probably the two large horns that thrusted forward from the head. Their appearance is very similar to the horns of dinos like Triceratops, although the animals aren't related. The exact purpose of the horns isn't known, but researchers think they were used for display purposes or for fights. Evidence suggests that only males possess them. Number 13, Tortitubus. Fungi occupies its own kingdom that is separate from animals and plants. However, plants and animals, including humans, and fungi are all considered eukaryotes. So maybe it shouldn't seem odd that fungi can leave behind fossils. Tortitubus is a terrestrial fungus that was described in the late 20th century. But in 2016, researchers made a significant discovery when they found fossilized remains of Tortitubus in Sweden. Dated at around 440 million years old, it's said to represent the oldest remains of a land-dwelling species known to date. Not bad for a fungus, is it? Number 12, Pneumodismus. This ancient beast is known from one single fossil fragment that was discovered by an amateur paleontologist in Scotland in 2004. It measures one centimeter long, that's 0.4 inches, and belongs to a myriapod or a multi-legged arthropod like centipedes and millipedes. Researchers think that this may have been the first of the lot. Researchers say that while they estimate the specimen's age at around 428 million years, the exact number is uncertain. Even so, it would have to be one of the oldest animals discovered that ever existed on land. Number 11, first salamander in amber. These amphibians are unlikely to be found in the Caribbean islands these days, but it was a different story some 20 to 30 million years ago. An extinct species of salamander was discovered in early Miocene amber in the mountains of the Dominican Republic in 2015. Experts noted that the animal is a close relative of salamanders found in the modern-day Appalachians. And it is also noted that the tree in which the amber was discovered is a closer relation to the trees of East Africa than those of the Caribbean. So this juvenile specimen might offer some clues as to how life on the islands evolved. Current theory suggests that salamanders could have reached the islands by attaching themselves to floating logs and various types of vegetation. What do you think? Number 10, Skullduggery. In 2016, a complete mammoth skull was discovered on the California island of Santa Rosa, and the unique fossil baffled experts. Its size was between that of a Colombian mammoth and a pygmy mammoth, but it couldn't be positively identified as either. Researchers believe its true identity will be revealed by its fossilized teeth. Colombian mammoths are thought to have inhabited North America during the Pleistocene epoch, between 1.8 million and nearly 12,000 years ago. They could weigh about 22,000 pounds, 10 metric tons, while pygmy mammoths weighed less than 1,700 pounds, 760 kilograms. Given that wide variance in size, this 2016 specimen may have been some type of unknown transitional species. What do you think? Number nine, turtle with a half shell. Odontocales semicestacea translates as tooth turtle with a half shell, and that describes what experts believe to be the oldest turtle on record, dating back some 220 million years. It was the most primitive, since it didn't have a fully formed solid carapace like the modern day specimens. Instead, it had broadened ribs that are similar to the embryos of modern turtles that haven't yet developed the hardened plates of a carapace. The prehistoric turtle had the flat shell called a plastron that armored its underside. Another difference from present day turtles is the presence of teeth in the upper and lower jaws. Today's turtles have horned beaks, but no teeth. Fossils of the creature were discovered in China and described in 2008. Number eight, Siam Raptor. Tens of millions of years before Tyrannosaurus showed up, there was another group of large aggressive dinos called Kakarodontosaurs. 
They were fierce carnivores that reigned as apex predators throughout much of the Cretaceous. This genus was noted for having serrated, knife-like teeth that are reminiscent of a great white shark's chompers. In fact, they're sometimes called the shark-toothed dinosaur. Around 113 million years ago, these beasts inhabited present-day central Thailand, and that's where its fossils were found between 2007 and 2009. Paleontologists say it's the first such species with well-preserved fossils discovered in Southeast Asia. Now called the Siam Raptor, this animal would have measured about 26 feet, 8 meters, and had a lightweight frame that enabled it to move fast. The dino was formally described in 2019. Number 7. Zul Kruivastator If you know your Ghostbusters trivia, you recognize the name Zul as the name of the demon that possesses Sigourney Weaver's character. Researchers who uncovered a new species of Ankylosaurus were surprised to find that the creature bore a remarkable resemblance to the demon in the movie. Experts say the dinosaur remains were found in the Judith River formation of Montana and had a complete skull and tail club. That makes it the most complete specimen of its kind yet found in North America. Evidence suggests that the creature would have measured over 20 feet long, 6 meters, and weighed more than 5,500 pounds, or 2,500 kilos. Covered in armor tiles and plates, these dinosaurs would have used their tail club to smash the legs of attacking theropods, two-legged dinosaurs. Number 6. Mongolian Mashup What's the weirdest dinosaur ever? Well, some fossils were found in Mongolia's Gobi Desert in 2015 that are said to bear features similar to ducks and swans. It may have even walked like a penguin. Dating back 75 million years, it's known as the Halska raptor and has been classified as a dinosaur. Even so, some paleontologists say this specimen represents an entirely new species. Going about the size of a goose or mallard duck, the animal had a slender curved neck, a duck-like bill, and a long tail. Despite its bird-like attributes, it was a non-avian dino, closely related to the Velociraptor, with sharp claws and crocodilian teeth. While scientists have learned a lot about it already, it seems this critter still has a lot of secrets yet to be discovered. Number 5. Utyrannus The fossils of these unusual theropods were discovered in 2012 in northeastern China. Dating back some 125 million years, the creatures would have lived during the early Cretaceous. Experts say this animal would have weighed around 3,100 pounds, or 1,400 kilograms, and measured 25 feet long, 7.5 meters. It's worth noting that those stats are debatable, but what seems to be agreed upon is this dino's strange appearance. This bipedal beast was covered in feathers that measured nearly 8 inches, 20 centimeters long. It's thought that the feathers may have helped the critter to regulate its temperature, given the cold climate for which it lived. We couldn't find a definitive answer for what colour those feathers may have been, but while the colour is still unknown, we can say for sure that the creature's fossils represent the largest known dino specimens with direct evidence of feathers. Number 4. The Oldest Known Human Fossils Jebel Ihaud is the name of a cave and archaeological site in Morocco. It contains the earliest known fossilized remains of Homo sapiens, or basically us. The area first gained prominence in the early 1960s when miners uncovered fossilized bones there. Excavations were conducted, but many of the discoveries were later found to be erroneously dated and misidentified with Neanderthals. In 2004, a research team arrived to carry out new excavations with updated technology. After a few years of digging, they unearthed stone tools along with skulls and bones from five individuals. Those fossilized remains and tools have been reliably dated at around 315,000 years old, which makes them the most ancient fossil remains of anatomically modern human beings yet unearthed. Experts also note that the discovery indicates that Homo sapiens had already migrated across most of Africa some 300,000 years ago. Number 3. Suncor Nodosaur This animal was a type of nodosaurid ankylosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous. Those animals are famous for their bony armor, bulky bodies, and short, powerful limbs. This creature is a member of that genus, and its fossils caused a sensation when they were discovered in northern Alberta, Canada in 2017. Paleontologists found it was one of the most well-preserved dinosaurs of its size ever found. Not only was the main skeleton mostly intact, 
but the animal's armour remained in its original position. Even the horn sheaths that cover the armour remained intact, along with the creature's overlying skin. After its discovery in 2011, it took experts many years to recover the fragile bones that were entombed in tough rock. All that effort paid off in 2017, when it was formally described and put on public display at the Royal Tyrrell Museum in Alberta. FYI, Suncor Nodosaur refers to the Suncor Energy Company. The fossil was discovered on its land. Number 2. Tiny Tyrannosaur We all know that tyrannosaurs were monstrous beasts that could attain weights exceeding 18,000 pounds, 8 metric tons, and measure some 40 feet, 12 meters long. But they started off much smaller, and we have a couple of examples to prove it. Starting with this discovery. Fossils of Moros Intrepidus were located in 2013 in Utah, where it lived during the late Cretaceous, some 96 million years ago. Evidence suggests that they would have stood around 4 feet high and weighed around 172 pounds, 78 kilograms. Given that size, they would have been exceptionally fast and could have easily chased down prey. They could also use their speed to avoid confrontations with predators. Experts anticipate that this species might offer clues as to why and how tyrannosaurs later evolved into such enormous sizes. Number 1. Tinier Tyrannosaur And if you thought tyrannosaurs couldn't have been any smaller than Moros, take a look at this specimen. Fossils of Saskidirannus were unearthed in New Mexico, where these theropods lived around 92 million years ago. The unearthed specimens indicate a height of about 3.3 feet, 1 meter, and a length of nearly 10 feet, 3 meters. At their heaviest, they probably weighed less than 90 pounds, 40 kilograms. Did you know that this animal and Moros intrepidus were both formally described in 2019? It was a great year for diminutive dinos. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.